So this getting started tutorial, we're going to do a quick overview of working in Articulate Storyline. So when you open Storyline, you're going to be in a window like this, and what we have here are all of our getting started tutorials. And right now you're looking at this one, and this is just going to give you a big uh, picture overview of Storyline and what it looks like inside. And the second tutorial will actually start building some content. So create a blank slide. We'll add some shapes and pictures so you can get a feel for uh, the authoring and editing and some of the features that are common to uh, what you would do in Storyline. And then here in the third one, uh, we'll learn to work with the states, layers, and triggers, which is really the, the core authoring idea in Storyline and how you'd build interactive content. So you'll build a little uh, mini scenario and a drag and drop activity. Then you'll learn to build quizzes, uh, create some software simulations, and then build uh, or customize your player. Then you have some free downloads and templates available to you. And while we talk about tutorials and templates, let's go to the eLearning Heroes community because this is a resource that's going to be very, really valuable to you. So right now we're looking at the tutorial section and you can see we're just doing the getting started uh, tutorials, but you can see there's a number of tutorials that you can access that cover uh, the storyline features and capabilities in much more detail. So the getting started tutorials are only going to do the basics. Uh, the other tutorials actually cover uh, all of that stuff in a lot more detail and uh, will help you out if you have very specific questions. Then of course jump into the forums if you have any questions. We're committed to your success. We want to make sure that uh, you're going to be successful using the tool. Then you can go to the download section and if you go to storyline folder here uh, you'll see that uh, there's all sorts of assets and templates available to you uh, in the downloads. And so you're free to use those and hopefully they'll help speed up uh, some of your course production. Let's come back to Storyline. Uh, when you start a project, you can create a new project or you can open a recent one. Uh, when you create a new project, it's just going to open up a blank slide and you just start working on it. Or you can start recording a video. If you want to import PowerPoint, a Storyline will bring in your master slides. It brings in your slides and the text boxes. It will be editable text, shapes or shapes, pictures or pictures. So all that content you bring in, you'll be able to work with and edit in Storyline. And then, of course, you can bring in some other Articulate content. We're going to go ahead and open a project we already have uh, so we can see what a course looks like when you have content in it. So I'm going to click on that. When you open a project, whether it's new or an existing project, you're going to end up in Story View, which we see here. And Story View is a big picture overview of your course. So in this case, I can see all of my slides. I can see I have three scenes here. These are the gray boxes. And then within the scenes, I have slides. So I can see a little branching interaction here. I can see that these are all linear. Um, I can always collapse these if I want to have more room to work with them. It's just up to you. Now when you're thinking of scenes, scenes are really just a simple way of organizing your content and storyline. So there's, um, it's just a way for you to organize the slides that you have. Most people think of them like chapters or sections, uh, but you can use them any way you want to. And then within the scenes you have slides. And anytime you want to edit a slide, you just double click on that. That'll open the slide. Now not only can you get that big picture view of your course, uh, you can do some editing here. So for example, if I have this slide here and I want to move it around, I can move it to different sections. Uh, you'll notice uh, this slide here has uh, some triggers that branch to different slides. So if I click on that, I go to the Triggers panel and I have access to the trigger. So if I want to change the trigger, I can just dynamically change it here from the drop-down. Uh, I also can change the slide player properties. Um, what's nice about this editing in Story View is that I don't have to go in and out of the slides. I can just uh, do a quick overview of the flow of my course and I can make changes uh, quickly uh, just from here. And then I can click on these arrows as well. When I click on that, that will open up the trigger wizard and I can do more detailed editing. So let's go ahead and create a blank slide so we can kind of look at what uh, the interface looks like on, at the slide level. So I'm going to create a new scene. When I create a new scene, you can see it just creates a scene here. Um, I can title it. I can title the slide. It creates a blank slide for me. I'm going to double click that. And that takes me into slide view. So what I have here in slide view is I have a layout of my slides. So in this case, I'm in a scene and I only have one slide. But let's go to another scene. And you can see I can quickly jump to a new scene. 
And then I can see uh, the slides here in the scenes and I can click around and, and do things there. I'm going to jump back to the one we were just at. So you can see how easy it is to get back in, in and out of the slides. You can also access uh, slides uh, from up here as well and story view. So uh, we've got our slides layout here. Down here we have our timeline and a timeline uh, we'll actually look at that in a second and see how that works. But a timeline is basically going to have the timing of your slide. So this is five seconds long and then you'll have a layering of your objects. We have our states panel. So when you're working in Storyline, the core authoring is going to be built around the states, layers, and triggers. So we have our states panel here. And we have our notes section. So you can add notes in here. That could be your course transcript. And then you can edit the text up here in the text box. And then over here on the right, we have our slide layers. Slide layers are going to, it's just going to be content that you can have on top of your slides. And then you can use a trigger to show or hide that content. And then triggers are going to be the actions that you have. So again, if we think about the core authoring, we have states. So any object on the screen can have multiple states. Uh, we have slide layers. And then we have triggers. So triggers can change the state of an object. Triggers can show or hide slide layers. And then, of course, we have variables and some uh, more complex elements to that. But for the getting started stuff, we'll just cover the basics. So let's go ahead and add some content. And that will let us look at um, how we would use the toolbar up here as well. So I've got this blank slide. Let's pretend I have to create a, a new slide from scratch so we can see what the options are. So I'm going to insert a new slide. So when I do that, uh, you can see I've got this a few options here. I can insert a slide from the template. So if you imported some templates, you'll have those here. They'll be available there. You can always click here. That'll take you to the community to where you can download additional templates. Uh, you can choose basic layouts, so layouts that are in your current template. Uh, you can see I've got some to work with. Uh, quizzing, if I want to insert quiz questions, graded slides, um, screen recordings. I can record videos and bring those in. Or I can import content. So we're going to go ahead and import a new slide. And again, I'll just choose this blank one and I'll insert that. And now I have my second slide. So let's go ahead and add some content so we can see how that works. So I'm going to go to the timeline and we can see how this stuff starts to stack up in the timeline. So most of the authoring you're going to do in Storyline is going to be at the Insert tab. So if I click on Insert. I can insert slides and slide related content. I can insert pictures, shapes, characters, videos, web objects, or some of these interactive elements that we have in Storyline. Um, if we go to the Design tab, I can change the design theme. So I have backgrounds to choose from, uh, colors, and fonts. And so I can modify those. I'll have thousands of options that way. Uh, and then we have animations. The animations, when you're on a timeline, you'll have entry animations and exit animations. And then you have animations uh, for slide transitions as well. And then in the View tab, I can access my Slide Master. And then you can see I've got my Slide Master here. And so you can see all the different layouts that I have in my Slide Master. So when I come into a slide and I want to change the layout, I just go to Home and I have my layouts. And you can see I can quickly uh, change uh, the layout of my slide. So I can work with Slide Master's layouts. It's very similar to the way it would work in PowerPoint. I'm going to go ahead and change this back. So let's go add some content on the slide now and see how that works. And we'll look at a very simple uh, states and layers interaction. So I'm going to insert. I'll insert a shape. So I just go to Insert. Shapes. So we'll just do a little rounded rectangle. And again, the interface should feel really familiar to you. And uh, we'll, I can move it around just like I would on any type of slide environment. We'll go to Format, and you can see I've got some um, quick styles. I'm just going to choose this white one here. I can change colors and, sh and effects and all that. And uh, you can see now it's starting to show up on the timeline. So let's go ahead and add a character now. So I go to Insert. Storyline's got these pre-built characters. So we've got some illustrated characters, and they're all vector-based, so they'll be nice and crisp. And then we have these photographic characters. So we're going to insert an illustrated character. And you can see I've got 20 women characters and 20 men characters. And when 
Uh, we look at them. They, they're different ages, ethnicities, different type of clothes. It's a lot of variety in what you can do. And then each character is going to have multiple expressions. So we've got 12 expressions. And these expressions are tied to the triggers. And you'll see that in the little demo we do. But the expressions are tied to the triggers so you can change them dynamically. And then each character will have a number of poses. And then you can see we've got left, right perspective. We're going to go ahead and insert her. And uh, I can just move her around, scale her. I'm going to crop her. And we'll crop her up here. And then we're going to scale her so she's a little larger uh, so we can see her better. So we got a nice character. Anytime I want to, I can. you can see I can change uh, the character here. I can also um, change the expressions on the character. So a lot of things I can do uh, working with the characters once I get them built. Now um, what we want to do too is let's go ahead and add a call out box. So I'm going to go to insert. We have a little caption. I'm going to do a little box so she's going to she's going to say something here. And so we've got a little call out box. We'll put that on here. So let's build a simple interaction and that'll show us how to work with the state changes and also with the layers. So um, any object I have on the screen so it can have multiple states. So I have my character here and I've go to states. Right now I just have a normal state. But I could have different states. So I could have a happy state, a sad state, you know, a green state, whatever I want it to be. And then I can use a trigger to change the state of the character. And the same thing with the layers. I got multiple layers and I can use a trigger to show or hide the layer. So let's see how that works. So I'm going to create a happy button. So Storyline comes with pre-built buttons. I'm going to add a button here. And the buttons already have a lot of the logic and everything built for you. And you can see there's already states for them. There's a hover state and a down state. So I'm going to type in happy for the button. So we're going to create a happy button. Make the text a little bigger. And the idea of the happy button is I click this button. I want to change the state of the character. So that's where I need a trigger. Now triggers, you don't need to be a programmer. And the triggers are always written this way. What do I want to have happen? And when do I want that to happen? Or what do I want to do and when do I want to do it? I want to change the state of this character when I click the button. So let's click the button. We'll select our trigger. So the action, change the state. So I'm going to change the state of the character. When, or what do I want to change it to? I'll say, this is where those pre built characters come in handy, happy when the user clicks. So what do I want to do? Change the state of the character to happy when the user clicks. So we preview this and we have a simple state change interaction. All right, so that's how state changes work. And when we click on the character, you can see now I have a, hap a normal state and a happy state. Now if I want to add a layer, I'll come over here. We'll add a layer. So we'll use a feedback layer. So we'll create a happy layer. And so on the happy layer, now I'm going to put a text box where she just says, I am happy. So we'll put a little text box, I am happy. And um, we'll make the text a little bigger so we can see it. That looks, looks good enough to me. And um, so now we have this layer that when I click on the button, I want to show the happy layer. So what's the action? Show layer when I click on the button. So let's go ahead and select the button. Let's add a trigger. Create a action. Show layer. So all the common actions are here. Which layer? I select the happy layer when the user clicks on the happy button. And that's it. So now when we preview this, this, act, this button has two triggers on it. One is to change the state of this object and the other is to show the happy layer. And there you go. So we've got a happy character who's telling us she's happy in the layer. So that's basically the core authoring uh, in Storyline with the states, layers, and triggers. Then when you're ready to publish, you just hit Publish. And you'll have some options, Web, Articulate Online, LMS. And then you can choose uh, the Flash output, which is default, uh, HTML5, or publishing for an iPad. So um, look at the other tutorials, do some practice activities. And then you'll be up and running in no time at all. And take advantage of all the free resources uh, we have in the eLearning Heroes community.